Hey, what's up amigos? Today I'm bringing you the top 10 car photographers that I've been following for inspiration. And although I'm not there yet, but they've somewhat shaped my skills in the past couple of years. So stay tuned. All right, to start with, we're starting with my buddy, Jordan Shiraki from Shiraki Photo. Check him out on Instagram. What I like about Jordan is that he recently started doing these posts showing the behind the scenes photos, which I think are just awesome. Not a lot of photographers there are willing to share their process behind creating such amazing photos. Now it's worth to mention that Jordan is using the, um, I think it's a Nikon or a Nikon, depending on how you call it the D800E with a 24 to 2.8 lens. Of course, he's using a polarizer and an LED panel for most of his shoots. All right, next on my list is Jeremy Clef. Jeremy uses the 5D, I believe either a Mark II or Mark II or 5DS, I'm not quite sure, along with the Alien B uh, strobe and I guess a generic LED panel or LED light for most of his amazing work. All right, what I like about Jeremy is his YouTube channel, which I think is very, very informative in a way of, for example, let's take this um, behind the scenes and, and the speed of, of, of his work. I've learned a lot from this shot in a way of how to actually use the strobe to photograph car. Check him out, Jeremy Cliff. All right, jumping to Chris Benny's world, this guy, is just amazing not just his photographs but go ahead go check his profile and check out his video work as well it's super super crazy just love it anyway check him out at crest benny imaging i believe that crest is mainly using the a9 sony a9 the a7r2 for most of his work but also he's using the phase one with the brown color cyrus l and the brown color move pack all right next on my list is not bland or web bland what i like about bland is his photos look so naturally lit i believe most of his shots are naturally lit unless he's using the strobe in a really conservative way which i really like and adore now i'm not sure about his camera systems but i believe He's using the Sony A7R2. Check him out at Webland. Also check out his work on his um, website. All right, so next on my list is, and, and forgive me if you're watching, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name right. It's either Easton Chang or Easton Chang, or could be both wrong. If you go to YouTube and type in his name, you'll find a lot of videos of behind the scenes of his shoots. There is a course by Easton himself about shooting cars check it out i think it's worth actually getting and and watching what i know about Easton is that he's using the 5ds if i'm not mistaken the 5ds or the 5d mark 3 along with bronc color cirrus l for his stroke photography and the ice light for light painting and next on my list again i'm not sure how to pronounce his name Frederick Closer. I'm not sure about his camera, but I think it's a um, it's either a Hasselblad or a Phase One. But I know that he's using the Profoto B1 for his work, and you can find this article in Profoto's blog, which is mainly an advertorial, more of a tutorial. All right, moving onwards with the amazing work of Pepper Yandel from Dallas, Texas. What I know about him is that he's using the Canon 6D along with Profoto B1 for his shoots. This guy doesn't just shoot cars, but he also shoots airplanes. Amazing work. He has two classes. One is about advanced color grading for car photography. And the other one is the advanced automotive Photoshop for, well, obviously cars. All right, so next on the list is the ex-Royal Marine, Tim Wallace from UK. Everyone knows Tim for his amazing work. He's been doing that for a long while right now. What I know about Tim that he's used, he's a, he's a Nikon guy along with Profoto B1s for his um, 
shots. Tim also got some amazing courses, tutorials on Kelby One that I think it's worth watching. You will learn a lot from it. Now, I'm not sure if I should talk about GF Williams. He's pretty known in this field for years. I don't have much to say about what he does because it's so obvious. But what I know that he has few tutorials on YouTube. I, remember, I still remember watching one of his tutorials about removing the rig from a rig shot and it was super amazing. Check him out at GF Williams. So I recently started following Richard Pardon from UK and I really, really admire his shots. Not only the shots themselves, but the grades, the color grading that he does is pretty beautiful. I mean, I can't describe the way he grades his photo, he shoots and grades his photo, but look at this for GT shots. It's just simply beautiful. All right, so last but not least, and because there are a lot of amazing photographers around the world, this account curates the best car photos and posts them on their account here on Instagram. I think it's really worth following them. You'll find a lot of car photographers that you haven't heard of before. And it just shows you the different styles and themes that these photographers got. Well, that's it pretty much, amigos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And if you have anyone else that you'd like me to feature, please mention them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until the next video, amigos.